Hello winners and dozers, we've got another Windows tutorial for you. If you're experiencing errors and other issues with Windows 11 or Windows 10, I'll show you the different repair methods to fix them without losing any of your data. Let's start with the various troubleshooters found in the Settings app that you can run to fix many common issues. To open Settings, right-click the Start menu in the taskbar and select Settings. Another way to open it is to press the Windows key plus I on your keyboard. In System, scroll down and click on Troubleshoot. Then select Other Troubleshooters. At the top, you'll see the troubleshooters used most often, including Internet Connections, Playing Audio, Printer, and Windows Update. Below, you'll find other troubleshooters to fix issues with your Bluetooth, your camera, keyboard, recording audio, video playback, and many others. To use any of these, click on Run next to the troubleshooter you need. Then just follow the prompts to have it find and fix the issue automatically. If you're seeing errors, updating Windows can help by fixing known bugs that can sometimes fix those issues you've been dealing with. To check for and install new updates, in Settings, go to Windows Update. If you see an update listed on this screen, there'll be a button you can click to download and install. If not, click Check for Updates. If there are any pending updates, it'll let you know so you can download and install those. On the flip side, if you find that after installing the latest update, your computer starts experiencing issues or errors, you could try uninstalling the latest update, rolling it back to see if that fixes your problem. In Windows Update, select Update History. Scroll all the way down and look for Uninstall Updates. You'll find it in Related Settings. Select it. You'll need to be an administrator on your PC to do this, and some of the updates can't be uninstalled. You'll only see those that can. Look at the dates to find the newest update causing your issue and select Uninstall. To roll back your computer back to a point where it was working properly with no problems, you can activate a system restore point prior to when you first notice the issues. To do this, go to Search in the taskbar, type Restore Point, Select Create a Restore Point. In the window that opens, make sure the System Protection tab is selected. To roll back to a prior restore point, System Protection would have needed to be already turned on. To check that it's already turned on, look in Protection Settings at your system drive, which for most people is the C drive. If Protection is on, you're good to go. If it's turned off, select the drive and click on Configure. To enable it, Click in the circle next to Turn On System Protection. Then below, click and drag the slider for max usage. 1-2% to should be enough for most people. Click Apply and OK to exit. If System Protection was already turned on, to roll back to a point before you notice the issues, click System Restore. This will open the System Restore wizard. Click Next. Select the Restore point prior to your issue and click Next. The final step is to click Finish. It will then do its thing and restart your computer, restoring it to a point prior to you noticing the issues. Corrupted system files are a common reason why many people face issues when running Windows 10 or 11. Using the System File Checker utility built into Windows scans for and restores corrupted system files on Windows. To run it, go to Search in the taskbar and type C as in Charlie, M as in Mike, D as in David. When command prompt appears, over here on the right, select Run as Administrator. Enter the following command, S as in Sam, F as in Frank, C as in Charlie, space, slash, the word scan, followed by the word now. Then hit enter on your keyboard. It'll first scan your computer for any corrupted files, and if found, will replace them with the appropriate files. This could take several minutes to complete. Another useful tool that can help repair issues and errors is DISM, often pronounced as DISM, which stands for Deployment, Imaging, and Servicing Management. It can help with any corruptions inside the Windows system image in Windows 10 and 11. To use it, you'll need to open the command prompt as an administrator, like we did with the System File Checker. There are several options 
but to keep it simple, we'll use the Restore Health option, which can scan the image for component store corruption and repair any issues. Type D is in David, I is in India, S is in Sam, M is in Mike, space, slash, online, space, slash, cleanup, dash, image. Add another space, slash, restore, followed by the word health. Then press enter. This could take several minutes to complete, depending on the number of issues found. If you tried any or all of the methods already mentioned with no success, a feature that might help is Reset This PC. To use this method, open the Settings app. Just a reminder, the keyboard shortcut is the Windows key plus I. In the left pane, select Windows Update. Then select Advanced Options. Scroll down, and in Additional Options, select Recovery. To the right of Reset This PC, click on Reset PC. We'll have two choices. I recommend selecting Keep My Files. While it does remove all your apps and settings, your personal files will remain intact after it completes. This could take an hour or longer, restarting your computer multiple times until it's done. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video helped in getting your issues fixed. If it did, give it a thumbs up and share with others. If you have a tip or trick not mentioned to help fix issues with Windows 11 or 10, let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and ring the bell to not miss out on our latest tutorials for Windows and other tech-related stuff right here on Tech Umbo.